what up okay so today i'm gonna be doing like a smoky eye type look with some cool metallic eyeliner um so no point in wasting time let's just get started so i already primed my lids um i'm gonna be using surprise surprise naked smoky palette because obviously um i'm gonna start with combust right here it's a neutral shade to go in the crease Use my crease brush. I just washed all my makeup brushes. Nice and clean. This has like no color to it actually, so it's kind of pointless. But whatever. Okay, so for the main crease color, I'm gonna use I think password. This gray color here, matte gray color. Just throw that right in the crease. Okay, so next I'm going to smother some black eyeliner all over my lids before I put shadow on to make it a little more dramatic. Alright, good enough. So next I'm going to put a black shade on the lid. I want to do some black sparkly. So I got this cute little um, white chocolate chip palette from Too Faced and I got the mini version because it's adorable and cheaper. I'm just going to take the sparkly black shade and just throw that on with my finger. And then just blend it in with a little crease brush. Yeah, that didn't turn out very sparkly, but whatever, it works. So for my eyeliner, I'm going to be using this Urban Decay Razor Sharp Liquid Liner in this shiny pink shade, but it comes out kind of watery, to so to make it show up better, I'm going to put some uh, NYX White Eyeshadow Base as the base for the eyeliner, and then put that on top. I've never used a brush like this with gel liner or anything put liner on that way so this will be interesting let's see if I can do this alright that turned out better than I thought it would I are these even I can't tell close enough um, okay so the black kind of mixed so it's not like white white, but I think it should work, hopefully. Okay, so let's take this eyeliner, throw it on top of the white. It's fine, I think. It's not showing up like that well, but I think it'll do. Okay, so liner is done. It looks alright, I guess. So I'm going to move on to the face. So I'm going to prime my face first with my Milk Makeup Blur Stick. Just rub that all over. And press it into my pores. And I'm going to put on my B6 Prep Spray. Okay, next I'm going to use my green concealer to cover up my red spots, i.e. acne. So I discovered that if I use my foundation brush over the green stuff, it pretty much just wipes it off, so it's pointless. So, just for my chin, which is where I have most of my acne, I use a beauty blender now to put my foundation on. Because it just kind of pats it on there. And helped cover the green instead of wiping it away like the brush and then for the rest of the face I'm still gonna use my foundation brush
Okay, next up is concealer. So for <clears throat> my nose, forehead, chin, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape. I just got the shade Fair because it was the lightest shade, so I figured that it would probably work for me. I don't really know. There was like a fair and then a fair uh, nude and then a fair something else. I don't fucking know the difference. I just bought fair. I, whatever. It works. And then for my under eyes, I'm going to be using the Naked Skin Pink Color Correcting Fluid from Urban Decay. And then I'm going to add a little bit of the shape tape underneath it. And then to set my face, I'm going to use my normal Laura Mercier translucent setting powder. That fuck ton under the eyes. Look like a fucking ghost. What? I love this little powder puff. That's so fucking cute. Okay. So while that's setting, I will be doing my brows. I'm going to use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. I like to just outline first. And then fill in afterwards. Okay, let me just quickly fix my fuck ups here because I can't stay in the lines very well. Okay, cool. Good enough. I'm just going to do a little underbrow highlight. I'm going to use that little chocolate chia palette. I'm going to take the sparkly white shade. Please have names. They do not. Okay. Oh, wow. I got a lot in there. Look at that. Whatever. Go for it. Woohoohoohoo! I mean, that's a love. I'm not gonna lie, I like it. Wow. Shit, kinda got it in my eyebrow. Fuck. I'm gonna just set my brows in place. I'm gonna use my Gimme Brow Shade 5 over the top. Okay, so I'm just going to wipe the excess setting powder off my face. Alright, so I'm going to make the bottom smoky too, but I kind of want to make it kind of shimmery. So I'm going to use this Urban Decay Yo Yo. It's like a shimmery white pencil on the bottom first. Alright, I'm going to use the same shimmery black shade in this little palette with this smoky brush or whatever it's called and I'm just gonna put it on the outer corner and the inner corner and leave the middle free and as for the middle I want to do something sparkly so I'm gonna use this little sparkly color in this palette put that middle kind of bring it down a little bit Okay, and then just because I want to be a little extra, I'm going to add some Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Distortion, just in that same middle part, and bring it down. Kind of go for that, like, music festival catch hollow look, even though I'm not going any. I've just been seeing people do it, and I think it looks kind of cool, actually. Like I'm crying glitter. <laughs> That's cool. Oh, that's cool. I actually kind of like that. You know what? While I'm at it, I'm going to add a little bit of that glitter to the top, too. Okay, next I'm going to throw on some bronzer. I don't know how to contour my nose. What the fuck am I kidding? Whatever. Next, I'm going to throw on some blush, even though my cheeks are already red as fuck. It's hot in here. 
Um, I just got the Benefits new California blush. Oh my god, it's so cute. It's so cute, and it smells like peaches, I think. No, I don't know, but it smells fruity. Um, it has like a shit ton of gold on the top, but the weird thing is, is it was only on top, and as soon as I swiped it once, it all came off. Like, there's still a little bit in there, but like there was a big coat on top that just came off. Anyway, comes with his own little brush, which is cool. I totally forgot I was going to add some black liner to my waterline, so let me just throw that in there real quick. And lastly, or almost lastly, time for mascara. So I'm going to use my mascara primer first. I'm going to put on my regular mascara. They're real. Okay, for my inner corner highlight, I'm going to take my Moonchild Glow Kit palette. I'm going to use the shade Star. It's like a silver color, and I think it goes well with the theme of this look. Oh, wow. <laughs> I've only used this like once before. Holy shit, that is awesome. Yes. Don't you hate it when you finish your eye look and then you look and there's little boogers in the corner of your eye and you have to decide between leaving them there all day or possibly fucking up your makeup to take them out? Oh my god. Okay. I got them. Alright, I'm just going to set my face my Urban Decay De-Slick Primer. Okay, so last step is the highlight. I'm going to use that same star color on my cheeks. Oh, yes, God. Why did I not use this shade more? This is beautiful. And for the lips, I'm just going to put on um, this Jeffree Star Lip Ammunition and Beauty Pageant, which is this sparkly pink. Of course I got this because of course. <laughs> Stir that on. Okay, this is the final look. Turned out pretty good for never doing it before and not really knowing what to expect. Thanks for watching. See you next time.